second part of the making of a connecting rod from scratch. If you haven't seen part 1, maybe you should start with it. I am still working with the rod assembled and torqued. I am deburring the head of the face I just machined on my 3 hems cut right wheel to make sure it's flat on the parallel. Holding on about a hundred tau, I am gonna do as much operation as I can. This is what they look like now, completely done on one side, with the leftover of my holding material still need to be removed. For this operation, I am going to do a fixture to hold the rod that will also be reused for future operation. My fixture has threaded hole for both rod diameter and a step so it's set flat on its holding. I also made these locating step, with these I need way less pressure to hold the rod as it has nowhere to go. The first machining I did on the rod assembly will now make more sense. Since I already machined the step of both rod hand earlier, I won't have to remachine them as both thickness are final. I can use these surface to clamp the rod on the fixture. I made these two washer in aluminum so they won't damage the face. Putting the rod on the fixture is easy and then I just need to tighten them down. There's not much machining left on this side. We have a pretty good looking rod but it's not done yet. My customer wants to have these ball mill groove on each side of the rod so I am gonna reuse the fixture I made to hold the rod on its side. Quick and easy one tool operation. True but false, as I am going to take advantage of having the rod mounted on its side to stem each of them with a unique number on both half, so the cap doesn't get mixed in. My part is now complete. The final diameter will be honed to the final measurement by the customer, as they are now a few thousand under. It was a fun project, the rod turned out real nice and I am really happy about them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, well subscribe to my channel and leave a comment, I love reading you. Thanks for watching!